Okay, we can't talk shit now. Boo. Oh my god, who's just put this in the video? <laughs> yeah, but it gets saved as... Who's Natalie? What? Yeah. There's no one here yet. Oh, oh you got one? You got nine. <laughs> you got nine people. Hi, the 49 people that are logged on right now. <laughs> I am Ray, and as most of you know, I am at the Miss Supernational competition here in Poland, and I am here with my lovely gang of girls. Come on in, girls. This, this is this is your this is your cue. Oh, made me get up. Miss Thailand. Hi. <laughs> Miss Australia Hi. and Miss New Zealand. You guys can come closer. <clears throat> come closer. All right. We're gonna do a little Q and A for you guys because we have some time. Thanks, Miss Thailand. We should probably tell them our real names. My name is. And then, oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that makes me nervous. Your balls. How do I not? Okay. New Zealand's not in the game. Okay, but then we can't here, come we closer. Come Just closer. Sit on my lap here, right here. I want the bones to break. <laughs> my bones to break. You can sit on my lap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We just want someone to sit on my lap. You sit on my lap. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi. So, I'm Rasham. You guys know that. I just have one eye. I'm Antonia <laughs> and Miss Supernational Thailand. I'm Ava from New Zealand. Oh, so sweet. Her voice. Okay. I'm Alex from Australia. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're all like. I'm Ray. <laughs> I'm Anne. I'm Alex. Mr. Super. I'm Ava. <laughs> Are we alone? Did everyone leave? No, we're supposed no, to leave at three. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh. Can I leave the we have the room. Yeah, what are the comments <laughs> saying? <clears throat> Prayers for you, Ray. Aw, tinks, tinks. Come in, Eva. Like, totally sit on her, her literally yeah, sit on her yeah, lap. Yeah, sit on my lap. But don't block my face. How does she look as a blonde? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I like it. Oh, yes. Hi, Miss yeah. Thailand. Hi. <laughs> okay, okay. So guys, um, we thought we would make this a little fun and we'll let you throw a little Q&A for us, for each of us, you can just tell us, ask us any questions that you may have, and we will answer. But do let us know who you want the answer from. Oh wait, let me read those. Oh, you go. you go. I can't see anything. Come sit with me. Okay. Okay. So cute. Yay. <laughs> Teach me some Thai. Of course. Can we like do a step? We can go. No, okay, let's just okay, take this with us. We're going You're coming with us. Yeah. Here. I'll hold it. Okay. I'll get the screen. The screen. Yeah. Go like um, all of you are pretty. Thank you. Thank we you. are all pretty. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, where are we going, though? Um, Somewhere with good lighting. <laughs> you know, lighting is important. Should I bring the face back up? It's warm here. Oh, it's nice. It's very cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll hold the phone. Philippines, how would you win this contest? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, game on. Um, honestly, I know this sounds really cheesy, but I think we could all agree that the best way to win it is to just genuinely stay true to yourself. At no point during this competition am I trying to be like anyone else. <laughs> At no point in this competition am I trying to change who I am. In, uh, I mean, maybe in terms of like inner growth. <laughs> like, you know, I'm trying to be a better person. But other than that, I don't, yeah, I just want to be myself. So I think, I think that should be enough to win the competition. And come closer, you're like in the darkness. Okay, the table is in the way. <laughs> Sit on the table. The table's side. Okay. Everyone, 
Hi. <laughs> Girl in pink dress is the prettiest one. Aww, Ava, they think you're sweetie. Uh, the nude, the pink. Yeah, the nude, okay. Yeah, you're the only one in pink, so technically. We're in color. Oh, yeah. And red. Yeah. My gosh, this, the lighting here is really good. Oh, yeah. really nice. No. Okay, any other questions? Because we're only here for like 35 minutes. What'd you say? I said if you have any questions, you can ask. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can ask. If you have any questions, you can ask. Baby hearts. Oh, I love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Wait, we did not practice that. <laughs> who's the fifth Wait, who's one? Who's the fifth one? That's fine. She's a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are in a very old hotel. Yeah, yeah. And like this. We have been a little creeped out. So <laughs> nice color eyes, Australia. Thank oh. you. She has the best eyes. Oh, yeah, look right. at that. Oh my god. Is being beautiful a problem? Who wants to answer that one? <laughs> um, okay, I'll go first, and then yeah. we'll all answer. For me, I feel like. Yeah, there are some perks to being, you know, pretty and beautiful. I think like sometimes people are nicer to you, but then I feel like there's this weird burden that also comes with beauty is that people think that just because you're beautiful, you can't be smart or mm -hmm. that um, you only rely on your beauty, right? Um, and that intelligence is lacking. And so that could be problematic. And also the fact that there's this weird expectation um, from women to be pretty, mm -hmm. to be accepted in society. So it's just like, eh, not true. Yeah. Women can be so much more than pretty. Um, women can really be whatever they want to be. I feel like I said everything. I'm sorry, guys. No, that's right. Yeah, why don't you give us something to answer also? <laughs> I find the only other thing is when you have like your name written across you like this, people think that they can just touch you. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, which is not okay. This barrier just like comes down. They're like, oh, yeah. she's got a name so I can like touch her, I can pose with her, I can mm. yeah, grab her when you want. Grab her, I like, can yeah. look whenever I want. It's like, but I agree with you. <laughs> I think being beautiful does like it's nice that people are complimenting you because mm. of your looks but I think people forget that you know we also have personalities and beliefs and like standards and boundaries as well and t people tend to forget that when they see us because you know oh they're beauty queens mm. they're so beautiful oh let's touch them because let's take a picture or yeah. oh they don't have like they're not smart because they don't need to use their brain exactly. to do yeah. anything but I think that's totally wrong and I think people really need to change their perception of that and you know like beauty comes in terms of personality as well I think that if you are not beautiful inside and if you have an ugly personality what is on the outside doesn't matter anymore Ooh, winning answer me 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 <laughs> she's really trying to outshine yeah. me right now <laughs> <laughs> no I have love for these girls um wait Talk wait love. there's more <laughs> Tough love because she is um, oh my the God, youngest no. one. I am um, no amongst us, yeah. right? I'm 22. Yeah, she's <gasps> younger. <laughs> this is oh, the baby. Oh, you're the, the baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> but she acts like the baby, so um, <laughs> <laughs> so we all protect her. Actually, we're I'm pretty protective of one I'm another. Yeah, we're pretty protective of each other. Um, which is good. It's nice. It's nice to have sisters looking out for you. Okay, there's more questions. Sorry, I can't oh. see. That's why I have to go. If you win Super National 2019, what would you do to get people to engage and support this pageant? Mm. Um, you're welcome, Adam. Thank Hi, you for asking Adam. me. <laughs> it's Adam's page, guys. Hi. So Hi. he's the one running Sash Factor. Yeah. And oh. Yeah, so I come thought this would Thailand be cool. Come to Thailand again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come together. Though. Yeah, bring her with you. Bring her with you. Okay, so what would you guys do to um, promote this pageant? I think we should, well, what I think is um, to promote it is to really emphasize its values mm -hmm. and Super National really emphasizes the importance of natural beauty and really being true to yourself and who you are and I think that that's the most important value we need to promote because a lot of people think that it's just a pretty face and makeup so I think when we can share that message people will kind of understand more what 
this pageant is about yeah. and they'll maybe change their perspective on it as well yeah, yeah i agree, yeah, I, agree. And I think maybe the only thing i would add to that is a little more of um less like a little less about beauty and more about what women Advocacy can do in okay. terms of like real change like yeah. action exactly. you were gonna say something Alex? yeah i was gonna go along those lines like the best thing about supra i find is that they don't have a set charity so it's whatever the winner's advocacy yeah. is yeah. So if you go out and you are making the difference that you actually believe in, people will see that. And it doesn't have to be the same advocacy as the girl from before. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be the same charity. It's whatever you're passionate yeah. about. And that's definitely what drew me to it. And I think that is the easiest way to sell it, is that girls can go out and whatever they believe in, they will support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what really like is that's really nice. good because it just shows that this organization supports whoever is in it. So yeah. if like, for example, Ray wants to do something with the LGBTQ community or women's empowerment, they will go towards that. Mm -hmm. Or if like, for example, me with children's education, they'll go towards that. There's no like fixed yeah. charity, yeah. which yeah. is really right good. Yeah, so it shows yeah. how I much do they really care. Love that. Yeah. I love yeah. that about Supra because it's like, um, we get to dictate the kind of change we yeah. want to bring into the pageant. And I think that really allows us to have a solid platform, which a lot of pageants is lacking lately. <laughs> don't fall. A lot of pageants are lacking lately. You see what I mean? Like we have to really like look out for this one. Really my God. <laughs> on my back, literally. Yeah. Okay. Super isn't 90 girls trying to be a super national. It's 90 girls. Each being their own version of yeah. what supranational yeah. is. I like that. Yeah. 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 I like that. I like the way you said that. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh wait, there's another question. How do you handle criticisms and bashers? Oh my god, can I just answer this one? Oh <laughs> yeah. my god, go for it. <laughs> um, me and Thailand were talking about this yesterday. Um, someone had commented on my recent photo, and if you go on my Instagram, you'll see this picture of me in the gray suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, kind of like doing my thing, trying to be fierce. And a lot of you will know, like that's really my branding. <laughs> like I like to be fierce. Um, you won't catch me smiling too often. It's not that I'm not happy. It's just, <laughs> it's just it's, who she is. It's just who I am. Like I, I, I am just. I, ha I have a more fierce personality, and that's just. I'm just trying to be authentic and true to who I am. And someone commented something, and I know I shouldn't be reading comments, but it really bothered me and they said that this girl needs to smile more um her being fierce doesn't look good on her or something like that and i don't really care if they if people think that looking fierce looks good on me or not mm -hmm. what really bothered me there is that this person thought it was okay for them to tell a woman what she should be doing yeah. why should i smile i mean <laughs> I mean, people come with various emotions and I don't think that I should be smiling all the time in order to come off as approachable or to please other people or to be pretty. And I think this weird standard needs to stop. And I normally don't reply to negative comments, but I actually replied to that one. And I said, stop telling women what to do. And the influx that had actually really warmed my heart because then I had like about 30 women comment and say the same thing to him or various versions of that and that really shows that um speaking out matters being a woman you have to speak out even if people are going to think that you're you know stirring the pot or um entertaining drama it's important to speak up on stuff like that even if it's controversial because that's what we're here to do we're here to be role models we're here to have a voice and give other women a voice and yeah so that's how I handle bashers by telling them how it is by telling yeah, them yeah, yeah. telling them exactly what's on my mind um, unless they don't deserve it then I'm just like if it's just like petty comments like I don't like you then it's like fair Bye. that's your opinion yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay next question understand like everyone has you know the right to their own opinion mm -hmm. and I think just to kind of ignore what people say about you is the best way to go because if you know what you're capable of and you know what you're doing and why you're doing it that's the most important thing and it doesn't matter what other people have to say to it because they don't know what you go through or they don't know what journey or the 
everything else, the build up it took to come to this moment. So I think that as long as you know what you're doing it for and what you're doing and you're happy about it, that's all that matters. And the criticism doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Before coming to Supra, I hadn't really had any exposure to something as big as a pageant like this. So I'm still learning to deal with people saying mean things about me. I still see that I'm like, why? <laughs> why do you think that? But I think the best advice is just to read and think, well, who are they to say that or think that about you and mm. just to keep going because yeah. as soon as you log off your phone, you can't see it anymore. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. even exist. This person's never met you. Yeah, they probably exactly. never will. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And the people who know me in real life know that none of that matters so like yeah yeah and you're doing something with your life you know you're following your dream yeah. you're trying to <laughs> yeah, work you're... for what you want and these people are behind the screens trying to make you feel bad about yourself yeah. when they're yeah, not trying doing to anything control to... what you're yeah, doing exactly. yeah. when yeah. they're at home sitting behind their yeah. computers <laughs> yeah. you know not doing anything with their life yeah. so yeah that's exactly. what i keep in my head mm -hmm. like these people don't mean anything because they are not doing what they yeah. want and that, yeah. I, it's sad to think that that's all someone has to do. Yeah, like you know, why like would what you waste kind, your time? What kind time? of place is that person in to yeah. be thinking and saying those kind of things? Because I don't look at other women and have those kind of comments. Yeah, so yeah. Like, something must be going on for them yeah. to have that view. I see this other question, which is really good. Really good question by Bakdeep Siut Karn. Sorry if I'm like totally butchering your name. Um, so the question is, what is the most important social movement in your generation and why? I want to take this one. I mean, <laughs> me and uh, and have been like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'd say the most important movement I believe is the global climate change. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah. Coming like yeah. for it. I mean, happened about what a month or two ago in Sydney. Like thousands upon thousands of people walked out of work, walked out of school, and went mm. and made yes. a difference by going to these rallies about climate change and especially in Australia because our government has really bad climate change policies and environmental policies it was so heartwarming to see that it is still uh, such a relevant factor yeah. because I mean everyone's bottom dollar is it's just like if we don't have um, a world to go to yeah a world for the future then what's the point of you know having all this economic growth yeah because we're going to die out before we yeah, even exactly. make quote, i think it's from the lorax it's like when the last fish dies and the last tree is cut down that's when we realize that you can't eat money yeah exactly. so, like, yeah. so true yeah. Yeah. i give me goosebumps yeah. 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 go back to the lorax like i agree with that actually yeah. we're I agree gonna with go that. we, we gotta go much. okay so we're yeah, gonna walk bye. bikini shoot so we me and alex miss australia we have to <laughs> Okay, so you have just me and... Like, we're not roommates, but... Yeah, we're not we're roommates. Pretty much. <laughs> mm, but we we're inseparable since day one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck yeah, on your weekend. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you have just me and New Zealand. Hello. Hello. Everyone thinks you're so pretty. Oh, thanks, um, guys. <laughs> yeah, climate change is real, guys, and yeah. I love that they brought that up. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Let's look at the other questions. Wait, can I just lean yeah, on here? Yeah. Okay, come closer. Yeah. Okay, let's read these questions. Hi, everyone. Hi. Okay. Do you believe in believe inner beauty matters? Knowing that pageants have physical requirements. Ooh. In New Zealand, mm. I found that the pageants are competed in. The requirements have been a little bit less strict than international ones. So sometimes I do find myself like thinking and exploring these ideas about these preset requirements for different pageants. But yeah, I think our New Zealand one, so for example, Miss Five Crowns, which is one that I did to win Supernatural mm. to come here. There's no height, there's no weight. You can be a mother, you can be married. Wow. Just, yeah, so it's, it's open to everyone and then it just depends on which international you want to go to. They'll allocate you ones that have That's specific amazing. requirements. That's amazing. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it's so open. So it means that anyone can join. So we have girls from other countries that come and they say, oh, in my country, I'd never be able to be a beauty queen. But here in New Zealand, everyone's invited. And they're like, we had girls that were so sad. They're like, I didn't think I could ever win because I am a mother. And I'm like, being a mum is one of the most important things that you can be. It's so yeah. strong, it's so powerful. It's what makes women women sometimes, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's part of who we are, is that you can be a mother and to think that you can't be beautiful or that you can't be a part of it was quite sad. So it's nice that we have channels 
to send um, people mothers. who are mothers. Yeah. So like they can compete in New Zealand, they can have that moment shining on stage, they can go to an international that accepts them and it's really fun. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really beautiful thing. Yeah, it's so um, nice. With, with um, you're right, like do you think, so do you believe inner beauty matters knowing that pageants have physical requirements? I mean, I always think inner beauty matters because it's any inner beauty that pushes you to work on your outer beauty. And it's that inner beauty that's always going to shine brighter than your physical appearance. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you really believe in yourself and you really love who you are, you're going to take care of your body. You're going to treat it like the temple that it is. And that's going to show. You're going to be more fit. You're going to take care of who you are. And even if all else fails, your personality will always shine through. Yeah. Yeah. You'll always have your personality. You'll always have that. And I've noticed with my mom especially, she's so happy and so bubbly that as she's aged, she's not even that old, she's only in her 40s, (laughs) that her wrinkles that she's getting from her age are all like the happy ones, so like the smile lines and everything around there, and less of the ones that like the angry scowling kind of one so it's just that if someone leads a life of happiness it starts to show on your face it becomes embedded in your physical features oh i like your inside becomes your outside eventually so yeah yeah you can't spend your whole life being grumpy (laughs) yeah because it's not gonna work out in the long run like a hundred percent i like that i never thought of it that way yeah next question so i'm going to take three more questions and then we're going to get going because we have um our beauty shots shots, so some of the girls are being divided um for our activities today some of the girls have been divided for their swim swim swimsuit shots swimsuit shots yeah (laughs) and some of us have um been sent to the room shots so taking pictures in like the suites of the hotel different areas of the hotel yeah and then I think it's everyone who's doing beauty shots. Am I wrong? Yeah, I think it's everyone. Yeah, and then everyone is doing beauty shots, and we need to go get ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, who are your biggest life inspirations? Oh, mine's my mom. Mine's yeah. my mom, too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm, honestly, I am a daddy's girl. I am. Me, too. But, <laughs> yeah. but the respect I have for my mother is, mm-hmm. like, no other, because mm-hmm. I really, like, I mean... Guys, like, none of us would be here yeah. if it wasn't for a woman. Mm-hmm. This world would cease to exist without women. Like, we are the only ones who can bring life on Earth. Yeah. We are basically the messenger between God <laughs> and Earth. Like, we carry the child and bring it into life. And to me, like, I'm Muslim, as most of you know, and we have this belief in Islam, which is like, heaven is at the feet of your mother. So heaven lies in the feet of your mother, oh, which means beautiful. which means if you protect and care for your mother and um, you you love her and you give her the, the care that she's given you, that you are guaranteed a place in heaven for that. And I think that's a beautiful message. Mm-hmm. My mother, she had a really tough childhood and she had me quite young. I think she was only around my age when she had me. But she has given me everything she possibly can, like because of her upbringing and the troubles that she faced. She couldn't go study when she was younger, but as soon as I was old enough to kind of spend more time on my own, she went back to school, she became a nurse, and she's achieved so, so much. And she, growing up, I never noticed that we were ever struggling, even though now that I'm an adult, I can look back and realize that a single mother at that age must have been, and that times were hard, but she never let me feel that. And that's just such a huge job. (laughs) I'm so inspired by that, that she could protect me in such a way that I grew up happy, fit, healthy, confident, and now I've got her as my role model forever. Aww. <laughs> Shout out to Bernadette McKinley. She looks just like me. <laughs> oh my god, I need to see a picture of your mother. She looks just like me. <laughs> Hi, I'm a big fan. Shout out, please. What is one weakness? Hi, Ren Badles. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Um... Uh, what is one weakness you both are still working on right now to be the best Miss Supra? Um, for me, the one weakness I'm trying to work on is my patience. Um, I'm not saying that I'm an impatient person most of the time, but there are some moments where I can be impatient with myself. I think that sometimes, um, I put so much pressure on, um, perfection that I forget that 
sometimes flaws can be yeah. a good contrast yeah. to flaws and personality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I think flaws are part of who you are, and it it's what pushes you to keep um, achieving for greater things in life. And sometimes I forget that, you know, when I'm really stressed out and um, I really want to do the best all the time. Mm -hmm. I can be a little impatient with myself. So I'm still working on that. What about you? Something that I'm still working on is having confidence in myself. I think coming to a larger pageant like this, seeing some like the bigger countries, like it's quite intimidating and knowing that some of these people are like so big on Instagram and Facebook and have so many fans. And I know that I have like fans, but it's mostly just like my family and things backing me. Mm. And like still knowing that I deserve to be here, that I worked to get here as well as everyone else. And that even though a bit scary sometimes being on a big stage that I deserve to be here and I should be confident and that I'm worthy I think is something that I'm working on like backing myself I think that's amazing yeah I think that is amazing because um but to be surrounded by amazing girls it's 89 beautiful girls 89 beautiful like girls oh my god can be intimidating but it's also it can so, be. so inspiring at the same time because every single person here has something amazing about them has a story has something they're passionate about and then People were doing everything. I think something that a lot of the girls were saying is they don't want to just be boxed into one category, one thing they're doing. They'll be writing a book, they'll be studying, they'll be working, they'll be doing pageants, they'll be doing so, so much. And you're just like, wow, we can achieve so much. <laughs> like, we've all got 24 hours in a day, look how much we could be doing. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think, like, loving yourself is honestly the first and most important step most important thing, some yeah. girls forget that even i do in moments of again stress yeah. i can sometimes say really mean things to myself like oh my god how'd you put on so much weight and really it probably isn't even a pound and i can be really mean to myself it's just because i'm under so much pressure and scrutiny and i think that it's normal to sometimes you know get lost in, yeah. the, in a cloud think, of negativity i think we were talking about that before i feel intimidated sometimes because I'm from like a small country that doesn't have a huge pageant backing but then the flip side of that is when you come from a huge pageant backing there's so much more pressure on you so I'm not sure which side is better to be on do you want that intimidation or do you want the pressure which one is more detrimental to your performance at Supra yeah yeah oh hi what's the shout out oh Pamela Casipol Casipol Hi, Pamela! Hi! <laughs> um, what makes you beautiful? I think we're all beautiful here. Yeah. We're just uh, beautiful yeah. in different ways because yeah. we're representing our countries mm -hmm. and we have different um, features. Like, I have dark skin, yeah. dark hair, strong eyes, and, you know, a little cute little Filipino nose. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm the only girl that's part Polynesian here. I'm actually New Zealand Maori and European which gives me kind of a different look, I guess. Yeah, like, <laughs> she, looks, she looks like a fairy. I told her she kind of looks like, you know what she looks like? She looks like Tinkerbell. Oh my oh, God, I'll you look like that. Tinkerbell. I'll take oh, that. I love like... Tinkerbell. Um, so you see like, everyone's you, different. But... Everyone's different, yeah. but everyone's beautiful because mm. we represent our countries mm -hmm. and, and we represent what, um, I guess, what our heritage looks like. Yeah. We're a representation yeah. of our heritage. And I think, mm. That's beautiful. And it's amazing to see all these girls and like see what everyone looks like. What the like, world has to offer in different ways. Exactly. I think if you stay in your country, sometimes you can get like a very narrow view of what beauty is. I Each country it. has like different beauty standards and to come here and see everyone, different body types, different faces, different hair, different eyes and realize that they're all beautiful. Exactly. It's like, wow, you don't have to... You don't find one girl on Instagram and go, oh, if I looked like her, I'd be perfect. Because exactly. in another country, you There's wouldn't all, be. Exactly. In another place, they're not someone's favorite. They might be the most beautiful to you and not to someone else. Exactly, which is, again, it comes back to you. You have to love yourself just the way you are in order to just make it through this life. Like, yeah. you have to love yourself because you're not going to be the most beautiful girl in every country and in every room. Yeah. What makes you beautiful is the love you have for yourself and and in turn, the love you can give to other people. Yeah, okay, I think one last question, okay, guys, bonus question. Yeah. <laughs> we really gotta go. What is beauty in the world of technology? You wanna take that one? Yeah, so in technology, I mean, I guess with the rise of Instagram, you're always looking at other people, 
which is kind of looping back to what I say before, like, you look at her and you go, oh, she's got a better nose than me, she's got a better chin than me, this is what beautiful is, or, you know, but it's all face-tuned, it's all edited, it's all fake, it's all just the highlights, <laughs> but I think something beautiful about technology is that everyone's connected all the time, I mean, and we're talking to all of you in Poland, in yeah, the, in the roof of this restaurant, <laughs> <laughs> we're literally at a, in a roof right now, like, yeah. <laughs> this hotel is a castle, it's beautiful. But yeah, I think it's there's a lot more pressure. I mean, I have never looked at so many photos of myself until I got Instagram. Before that, how many photos would you take a year before Instagram? Like Not Christmas, much. birthdays. Yeah, like if I'm out with my friends. That time like, your nana comes to visit, you get yeah. a photo, and then now it's everyday photo, photo, yeah. photo, photo. Like I know every angle of my face, every flaw that I don't like, and most of them are things that people never even notice. <laughs> like, yeah, I think hmm. to me, beauty in the rise of technology is connecting mm -hmm. yourself to other people yeah and in turn finding what's great about yourself and even accepting what's not so great and then working on that yeah. there's some things you can't change though right you cannot you don't get to a pick the color of your skin when you're born mm -hmm. you do not get to pick what your eyes are gonna look like you do not get to pick anything about yourself and i think people forget that sometimes especially on social media people forget that i did i would i didn't choose to be born with the face i have i did not choose to be to be um beautiful or not beautiful or whatever your standard of beauty is and with the rise of technology i think we are more connected uh now than ever and um these different standards of beauty are being celebrated more yeah. and more yeah. and bigger brands like dove or gap and um these bigger brands are starting these trends of inclusivity and um celebrating that and more of us need to continue doing that we need to continue accepting diversity we need to continue loving one another and knowing that we're all beautiful and i know that sounds cheesy but when you're loving life it doesn't really even sound cheesy anymore. It just <laughs> sounds like a way of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's about it, guys. Um, we really have to go to our shoot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will try to do another live and I'll try to have all the girls there. We'll have some tea time. Um, and maybe we can do something different. If you have any other suggestions of what you would like me to do for my live, please message me on my Instagram handle, at RayBay. Um, that's again, that's Instagram, RayBay, R-A-E-B-A-A-E-E. -E. Again, RayBay, R-A-E-B-A-A-E-E. -E. And you can send me a question and, or you can send me some suggestions and I can do a live and base it around that. Um, let's see, maybe I'll like some of your ideas and I'll give you a shout out for the idea. You wanna give them your Instagram handle? Yeah, my Instagram handle is Eva Louise Wilson. So E-V-A Louise Wilson, spelt the normal ways. Yeah. It's the one with the green profile picture because I'm standing in some New Zealand ferns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can probably see her um, in my stories and yeah. you'll see the tag and just follow her. And yeah, stay posted because you know, we have a long way to go in our Poland um, journey here with Miss Supra National. We're having lots of fun. It is also very tiresome, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, don't be offended if we don't get back to your messages immediately. I always try my best to get back to my fans because I know how dedicated you guys are. And trust me, I'm reading your messages. It's just that I need to take more time. And today I got a chance and I wanted to get the girls along with me and, you know, do a like, fun Q&A. So I hope you guys had fun and yeah. Bye. Stay tuned, send me a message on Instagram or tag me in a story so I can see it. Mwah. Bye, ingat, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Love you guys so, so much and I miss home. I'm so homesick. I'm homesick. Send me your prayers.